Hey, what's up? Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for watching this quick video. Now, we're going to cover a very important question here. It's uh, all over the internet. There's a lot of different answers, and I just want to set the record straight. When it comes to Feather Fill G2 Polyester Primer, okay, it's a very, very thick uh, 2K filler primer, and we're going to talk about the most common questions and uh, basically giving you some answers through my direct experience and also from searching all over the internet and getting you the hardcore truth about this product and how you can use it and uh, everything else. So Feather Filled G2 Polyester Primer, can you paint directly over it or spray another 2K primer sealer over it first? All right, so this uh, question came up from a member of mine at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Jack, he's working on his Ford Model A. And uh, quickly, I'm just going to read you the quick story so you have an idea of what we're working on. And we have a bunch of cool images like this that I want to show you. And uh, we can talk about potential, you know, if you want to use it or not, or not, or whatever the case is. Okay, so hey, Tony, uh, a prior owner was trying to turn it into a roadster. This cut the doors off uh, above the windows, cut the B pillar off and remove the top and top wood. I decided to bring it back to the sport coupe it was originally meant to be. After getting quotes of $10,000 to $15,000 to do the bodywork job and paint it, my next decision was to do it myself. Luckily, I found your site and immediately became a Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP member. Well, I want to thank you, Jack, for joining, and I'm sure you're getting a ton of value. Um, I've sanded the car down to bare metal in some spots. The black that was on it was difficult to feather, so I had to go farther than I thought and wanted. I did the bodywork panel by panel at a time working around the car. As I was satisfied with that, though it's not perfect due to previous bodywork I could not fix, I sprayed rattle can primer on it. After the car was in primer, I thought I was ready to put a 2K primer on it and proceed to color. Wrong. A person I friended on the VIP site brought it to my attention that the possibility the rattle can primer probably would not hold up to the 2K primer on top of it. So, back to sanding and taking as much off the bad primer off as possible. And here are some of the pictures I sent. I masked and sprayed the feather fill on the rest of the car. And there's the after picture. So you're going to see the pictures in a bit. I saw your suggestion of using the uh, dolphin glaze and we'll make that decision after I get this I get this sanded and see what it looks like. I have speed speedo coat SMR 221 2K primer that I was going to put on for that stage. I also have already purchased a single stage black paint for the color stage. I appreciate this opportunity and hope to help someone else as well as get more help for myself. Is there something else you need from me? Let me know. Um, also, I use the Atom X20 spray gun with a 2.0 tip for primer coat and will change to the 1.3 or 1.4 tip for the color. I would recommend the 1.4 tip uh, if you're spraying a single stage color coat. Okay, so um, first of all, um, Jack, you had uh, a VIP member told you that you might have a chemical reaction if you sprayed this feather fill over a 1K cheap rattle can primer. And uh, the answer is no, you wouldn't have, have had an issue, okay? You would have had an issue if you were spraying a some type of lacquer paint over it, like a heavy lacquered paint, all right? But if you were spraying a polyester over it, and the 1K sat to dry for more than a day or two, right? Because eventually the, the the 1K, the lacquer out of the 1K will, will totally evaporate, okay? And you can go over a 1K with a 2K uh, epoxy primer or a primer or anything like that. But whatever the case is, you sanded it off, okay? And now you have some G2 filler primer that you sprayed over it. And that's what this second picture looks like here on the right. You sprayed your feather fill over it. It's really, really thick stuff. And you primed and filled with the feather fill G2 polyester primer. You use the 2.0 tip kit on the Atom X20 spray gun. Thanks for sending in that awesome picture of yourself under your tent there. Um, and just speaking of spray guns really quickly, people watching this video, if you are interested in awesome, awesome spray guns, I highly recommend you to check out the Atom X series spray guns. 
Uh, they are really, really cool, and you can check them out at Zula.com. They are the only spray guns that I use right now, and I'm getting phenomenal results with them. All right, so the big question, do I, should I, spray 2K primer after sanding the Feather Fill G2 before color? So the answer is you could. Yes, you could. But here are some bullet points I want to bring up, okay? Um, waterborne versus solvent paint. So if you're going to be doing a waterborne paint, waterborne doesn't really like polyurethane, okay? It will suck into, so if you're spraying your waterborne, okay, most times if you really want to get a good job, it's best to do it over sealed paint. So you would want to use a sealer primer or a sealer before spraying waterborne. So if you spray if you're thinking of spraying waterborne, which you're not, okay, a waterborne base coat over feather fill, it's really not a good idea, okay, because the feather fill will actually suck it up pretty well, all right? If you're using a solvent paint, like a base coat, solvent base coat, or a uh, acrylic enamel, synthetic enamel, okay, solvent paint, you're not going to have any issues. So you could spray directly over feather fill as long as it's prepped and sanded uh, with at least 400 grit sandpaper, wet sand or um, wet sand or dry sand. Now, if you're spraying an enamel, you actually don't have to go that fine. You could even finish off at a 360 or 380, but I would say the finer the better because you're painting black. You know, black is probably, it, it is one of the most <clears throat> hardest colors to paint, okay? Um, also, it depends on your budget. If you want to get that custom paint job and like really have it look really well, which I'm sure it'll look well without adding a sealer or a 2K primer on top of it because I've done it many times, um, go ahead and spend the extra 100 bucks and the time, of course, it's going to take to cover all of your feather fill with a 2k primer but the thing is is you want to make sure that your feather fill is dry so i would definitely wait you know three four a good three four days if you have a little bit more time maybe at least a week let that cure really hard um, then you'd want to cut it down okay we're going to get over um, kind of the pros and cons and what grits you should be using um, the other uh, bullet point here is like I said it depends on the quality okay and that's subjective to everybody you know my the quality that I think that I picture in my head might be different to you um, and also it depends on your time frame if you have time right and you want to you know sand this thing down when I'm saying this thing I'm talking about the feather fill you know cutting that down and then spraying a 2k filler primer on top of it um, and I like to use a 2K filler primer sealer, okay? There are 2K filler primer sealers where you add a little bit extra reducer and it becomes more of like a sealer. And you would basically cut and finish that off at 400 grit and uh, you're ready for paint, okay? So that's pretty much the answer, okay? If you want to put a 2K filler primer on it, feel, feel free to do it, but it's not necessary. You could definitely cut this down and spray your single stage paint job right over your feather fill if you're satisfied of you know with how the body work looks okay so i would definitely take your time block it out um you might even you're, you're gonna want to go down to it at least i would say a, a 380 to 400 grit if you have any imperfections use the dolphin glaze polyester uh putty that i recommend it's a 2k uh, glaze putty that you mix up you can put into little chips and imperfections and scratches if you see it along the body during this stage block sand it out and then cover it with the uh, just a, a, a you know a spray of 2k filler primer and then block that out then you're ready for paint so let's get into the the pros and cons of the feather fill so the pros is it's very thick and you could fill over 60 grit sand scratches with this stuff even up to 40 grit um, I've heard people spray this stuff directly over 40 grit with a 2.2 tip it just fills it up you know and I don't know when I'm doing body work I like to cut it down and shape it to at least 80 grit you know I think 40 grits like really rough it's a really rough draft shape and I just don't see why somebody would do that and use so much feather fill or a polyester filler, you know, and go over that. So I would at least go to 80 grit if you're going to be filling body filler with the feather fill. Um, 
Cons, it's very thick and will dry very, very hard. You know, it says easy sanding on the on the can here, but it's really not easy sanding. Okay, I've used this stuff a good few times and it's not easy sanding. Okay, the, the other good thing is it's high build, it's no shrinkage, and it's a cross-link cure, which means it, it really dries super, super hard. Okay. Um, it's not easy to sand, like I said, and it will clog your sandpaper fast. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. And it's recommended after you spray feather fill, all right? Um, cut it. You can cut it with 150 grit up to, you know, 180 grit sandpaper. You can use a DA. Cut it down because it's really thick, you know. Be careful, though, because you don't want to cut it all, you know, cut it off too much. It depends on, you know, where your body work is, what you're doing. You know, every project is unique. Um, so... Yeah, so again, if you want to cut it down, you can cut it with a 150, 180, and then spray a 2K, a regular 2K filler primer on top of that and finish it. Or you can just get it down to 150, 180, and then go down even further to like a 360, finish off with a 360, and then wash it down with 400 grit wet uh, or dry, but wet will give you longer lasting sandpaper. Um, so that's something you might want to think of, and it's less dusty and less messy. And then you could literally paint over that, you know, right over it. Uh, pricing's about 70 to 80 bucks a gallon, depending on where you get it. And you must use at least a 2.0 tip on your spray gun uh, to spray this super, super thick primer out of. All right. Um, so what is it good for? It's great for classic builds or major body filler work that needs a thick filler foundation to fill and get a straight body okay hopefully that makes sense i kind of put too much fillers in there i guess um can you go without it yes absolutely you can you you can go without this stuff you know if you prep and do your body work close enough to where you only need a basic 2k filler primer sealer like advantage or speed speedo coat or ppg's uh primers that they have out there the 2ks um then you could pretty much avoid using this i've used it a good few times and then i, I decided for myself that hey I really am not crazy about it. I can be fine with a regular 2K filler primer. The, this stuff is like ultra thick, okay? Like I said, it's really recommended for doing um, heavy duty fiberglass work, you know, covering big nicks and scratches and body filler and all of that, you know? That's what it's really for, you know? I mean, if you're looking for a regular, uh, if you're just doing most body jobs, you know, as long as you finish with 80 grit sandpaper, um, and then you knock it down with like a 150 to 180, you can use a regular 2K filler primer and fill it, no problem. And then, you know, it's it's thick enough. This is like overkill to me. Um, again, can you spray over epoxy primer? Yes, but the epoxy should be cured for at least 10 days in hot weather or up to three weeks if in cool weather. Same with the 2K filler sealer primer. So... That's pretty much it. If you have this as a base coat, make sure it's really, really dry. Um, you know, about a week at least before you, you really you paint over this stuff. Um, and also, if you're spraying your feather fill over an epoxy primer, make sure your epoxy primer is cured. Okay, now epoxy primer usually goes over metal projects. So if you're working on a classic project and it's all metal, you may want to do the epoxy primer first, right? Let that dry for a good five to seven days, depending on your, your temperature there, and then use this to fill, okay? But you could also use this to fill over metal, okay? So there's just so many, many ways to skin a cat when it comes to auto body and paint. Um, hopefully this gave you some more information on what you could do. So you could definitely use this as a base, um, a, a base to paint your base coat clear coat paints over um, but uh, I would recommend spraying a um, a regular sealer over it if you're going to be doing a waterborne okay um, a regular 2k filler primer slash sealer uh, would be better for your waterborne paints okay like a waterborne base coat but if you're spraying like a single stage enamel you could definitely spray right over this stuff and even finish at a, you know, 360 grit sandpaper and just spray right over that. All right. But if again, if you're doing like a black, I would definitely recommend to go as fine as you can, you know, up to 400, no more than 400 grit. 
All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made sense. I really tried to break it down for you. Um, please comment down below in the video. Let me know if you have any more questions or requests for this type of PowerPoint videos, let me know. And if you're brand new to this and you wanna learn more about Auto Body, definitely check out our comprehensive Learn Auto Body and Paint Mastery VIP course over at learnautobodyandpaint.com. We've been helping people since 2010 uh, learn auto body and bang out awesome auto body jobs from their own home garage for themselves, uh, for customers. We've had guys open up their own body shops and even, you know, become the top of their class uh, once they get to technical school when it comes to auto body. All right. So again, it's Tony. Thank you for watching. Check out learnautobodyandpaint.com. And also, again, if you want to check out awesome spray guns, don't forget to check out the Adam X spray guns over at Zula.com. Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.